So this is part B, and we're going to be solving this problem using the false position method. I'm going to read the problem. Sabrina has a certain amount of money, and Mario has three eighths times the amount of money that Sabrina has. When Sabrina and Mario add their money together, their total comes out to $88. How much money does Sabrina have initially? So I'm going to highlight the important parts. So Sabrina has a certain amount of money. We don't know what it is, but she has it. And then Mario has three eighths times what Sabrina has. And then when they, they add their money together, we have $88. And now we're looking for how much Sabrina has initially. So we're gonna write down what we know already. So Sabrina has X amount of money, Mario has three eighths of what she has, and together they have $88. And what we're looking for is how much Sabrina has. We're looking for what she has. So I'm gonna write our equation down. That would be X plus three eight x equals eighty eight dollars. So I'm gonna make the educational guess and assume that Sabrina has fifty nine dollars. So I'm gonna plug that into my equation. Fifty nine plus three over eight times fifty nine equals hopefully eighty eight. Let's go see. So fifty nine plus three over eight 59 comes out to 22.125. So that already tells us 81 point something. That's a big no. So let's try to up this number by a couple. I'm gonna do 63. So I'm gonna do 63, three eighths, 63, plug it in again. Let's go see if it equals. So it comes out to 23, six, and that already tells us that we're almost there. So we're getting close to our guess. So I think I'm only gonna bump this up one more number because I don't wanna mess myself up too much. So I'm gonna do 64 plus three A's times 64, hopefully equals 88. When I make my calculations, this comes out to 24 and 64. And using the false position method, we were able to solve how much Sabrina had.